Hello and welcome Hello. to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> it's Friday. Yay! Friday! And Tanya's here. Hi. As you can see above her head. See? Oh. There. Oh. We have titles. Oh, shocking. So people know who the hell we are. Very nice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, uh, where we play new games on classic consoles. And today we are playing some new games. Um, that I uh, got in the last, you know, mailbag that uh, that I opened up the box for. Yeah. And and uh, so we've got three games today to play, and two in boxes actually. Uh, one is Omicron. I keep wanting to say Omnicron, I've but it's yeah Omicron. Um, Omicron. Hide oh your face. Turn it. <laughs> uh, hide. Go like this. Turn, hide. There we go. Now it's in focus. So Omicron <laughs> is our first game we're going to play. And the second one is KO, <coughs> KO Cruiser, um, which is a boxing game. Mm -hmm. And the third one is uh, Blinky Goes Up. So just hide your face. Hide your face. There we go. There, now they can see it. Omicron is the first one. And Blinky Goes Up is the last one. So, but I got some packages in the mail the other day. I don't know if they're video game related, but I have a song, strong suspicion they are video game okay. related. Okay. So I'm going to kind of open them and look in them. And if they're nothing to do with video <laughs> games, <laughs> I won't show what they are. Yeah. So that's the fun of doing things live. Well, I can tell you it's not our cat litter that we order online. So, no, it's, yeah, no. it's not a tiny... <laughs> small thing of cat litter. I'm and like trying to think, have I ordered anything lately? <laughs> and one of them has no return address. I know it's from the UK and I know I ordered some stuff from the UK. Okay. And the other one is from like a person and uh, sometimes the person's name doesn't match up mm. with, you know, the name you typed in or yeah, their the company or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, could yeah. be like That's, somebody yeah. else. Oh, oh. It is video game related. Yeah. Actually, is there two in here? Okay, anyway. No, it's just one. It's big and long. Ooh. So it's a t shirt. Ooh. And I'm going to throw it in Ooh. front of your face. I was going to say, don't, don't put it in the wine. No, not in the wine. So what that <coughs> is, is hmm. the internal schematics of the Atari 2600. Very nice, or at least part of them. Anyway, obviously not absolutely everything. All the resistors and the switches and yeah, that's the main very cool. the main things. It's got the. Um, can you hold it up? Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, joystick ports there. Um, it looks like. Oh, I can't identify anything else on here. Um, probably some of the um, the switches on the front as well. Um, power. Um, maybe video out. It's hard to tell. It's hard to see. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. I do like oh, it. Oh, very nice. And I like the uh, color. It looks like it's nicely, nicely printed. It's not an iron-on. Those are the worst. I don't think companies mm, make those anymore. Not so much anymore. I know about no. 20, 15 years ago, <clears throat> you could order t-shirts online and a lot of well, them would be like just, just iron-on patches and they were terrible. Isn't that that there was a chain bang on? I think they st it still exist. They weren't I don't very know. good either. But they, they were, were iron-on ones. They were just all iron-on decals that they would do and you'd show up and flip through and pick the one you wanted. So yeah. That. yeah. And they weren't like cheap enough to go, oh, who cares? Mm. Like it was, can you get the scissors out of the drawer mm -hmm. for opening this next one? Oh. Some people package their stuff really well. It's that's a good thing because <laughs> you is. don't want it to lose it. You had something you ordered the other day and it didn't arrive in the packaging. It was a book yeah, or something. Yeah, it was from Lulu. It was a book and the top <clears throat> had opened and it was missing. And there was no book. There was, there was the no package book. arrived with no book in it. So yeah, and it happens. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, oh. this one's very tightly packed. Oh my goodness. This one is from Canada. I always worry about cutting the thing inside. Yeah, that's true. Especially if it's something that can easily tear. Oof, there we go. Nice. Oh, it's actually for... Um, every year we 
host a video game night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and this is one of the prizes I ordered for it um, because it's the 40th anniversary of Space Invaders this year. Yes. So it's a... Um, hide your face. There you go. It's a Space Invaders um, fridge magnet. A really big one. Oh, it's huge. It's massive, massive. So hopefully the magnet yeah, is massive cool. as well. And There's two. It'll... Oh, three. There's three on the Oh, back. three separate magnets? Yeah, on the back. Okay. Well, that'll be good. Oh, that's neat. So yeah. somebody can win that prize. Excellent. Put that away, please. And a little while back, we hit 50 subscribers. Mm -hmm. You remember? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And at that point, you can become a Twitch, I don't know, um, affiliate, whatever name they, they give you. Um, if you stream enough and you have enough people, subscribe to your channel. Mm. And at that point, you can take um, donations and uh, subscriptions uh, yeah. as well. Have, yeah, like subscribers. Yeah. yeah, and one of the ways people can subscribe is if they have Amazon Prime, yes, um, they can like basically donate money for free. They don't have to actually donate the money. Mm. They are given one click a month to mm. donate a little bit of money to a Twitch streamer. Mm -hmm. And two people have done that. Thank you so very much. Thank you That's very much. Nice. So Soundtrack underscore 78 yeah. and Jeffrey 2123 have both subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. That's and if you awesome. want to do that, just click subscribe somewhere yeah. on your screen. It's there. And it costs you nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, if you're a Prime subscriber. If you have, if you have <laughs> yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Or, or you can um, give money as well. Yeah. Um, because these games cost a lot. They're not donated to me. No. I do buy all these games. Because um, I want to give like fair reviews of them. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go, oh, I love this terrible game. But I haven't really encountered any that are not like worthy of playing. They're all they all have some. Well, worth. some of the ROM games were a little rough, but uh, yeah. I think everything else we've played, everything has some play playable value, if that makes sense. Especially if it's made it to yeah. cartridge or to a yeah. box, usually there's something to it that yeah. uh, makes it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's all the announcements I had. Yes, it was. So we're gonna go to our first game. Mm -hmm. You have something to say? No? No, it just, the chat room seems very quiet. Are we having some upload issues? <sighs> yeah, actually. Um, there are some people there. Okay. I'm just not talking. No, that's but fine. We are so had... are also having some upstream issues. Okay. So it may still be occurring. On Wednesday, it was terrible. Yeah. Um, and I've set the speed lower, much lower so that it won't be as bad okay it'll be a bit choppier like it won't be choppy it'll just be blockier you won't really notice it too much there's, there's a cat behind there <laughs> <laughs> the sorry cat... <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> it's a cat stuffed him that was exciting <laughs> there's just little cat eyes like behind the couch is hear, like that much i could hear some scratching and i was wondering what was going on and i see these little these eyeballs sticking out what's up with you Oh my He's goodness. full of beans today. <laughs> He's crazy today. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the upstream was really bad Yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah. And yesterday I was on the phone, not on the phone, online for an hour with tech support. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. He's growly. He's, growly. he's crazy. Yeah, he's nuts too. With tech support, trying to do a whole bunch of tests that I knew wouldn't work because I've I've been tech support. Yeah. <laughs> the manager of tech support. So I did all these tests beforehand. Mm -hmm. But you have to run through it with them because they don't know who you are. Well, and so they have to have peace of mind. They have to mind. do it and then, then they'll, yeah. Because they don't want you and your janky equipment <laughs> yeah. being terrible and they send somebody out and it's actually your terrible router being terrible mm -hmm. um, but it's not my equipment and then at the end of the conversation they said oh there's work being done in your area um, I said oh when's the ETA of that work being done finished Nothing. we don't give out nope. ETAs yeah. so who knows when that's going to be done 
Um, but they said to get in contact with them after tonight's fine so far. Oh, excellent. Okay, it's we're most, very happy to hear that. Because I've set down the bit rate. Um, so mostly it has in been in, it's been in the green. There's a little indicator when you stream. And it's in the green right now. And I've seen it flash to red, but mostly it's been in the green. Okay, well, that's good. Yes. And then hopefully they'll figure out their issues and, and then you can bring it back up again. But uh, Yeah, because yeah. the person did say after the weekend, call, uh, call back in or get in contact yeah, okay. to, again. So yeah. I'm guessing on their end, the ETA is... The week, sometime in the weekend. Sometime in the weekend. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. why would they say that? Maybe they'd say call back in a week. Yeah. Rather than out of the weekend. Um, but the first game is Omicron. And we'll just pop it in there. Great that it works. There we go. To switch it. Yeah. Let's turn down the volume a bit. I'm liking the music. Yeah. Very catchy. Yeah, it's really good. I, th I swear I pl we played this on the show, but it doesn't say we have. Maybe it was something different. I think you showed the box and the box art or something well, you when you received it. Definitely, I might have, yes. I think because I I believe I was in the room when you did that. But I don't think we played it. Because I looked, I don't think we have. No, I don't remember this at all. Okay. But I remember the art and the box, so I, I have a feeling you did bring it out. Quite possibly, yes. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, okay. There you go. We've got the title screen. Start, options, credits. Let's go to options. Uh, normal, fire type 1, control A, 2.5K, and back. So let's just see what those are. Normal, hard, normal, hard. Fire type 1, 2. Okay. okay. Let's go for 1. Control A, control Control A is Ooh. higher acceleration. Oh, did you start it? I didn't. Did you press the fire button? B, but I was I, I selected something. Okay, options. I hit the two points. It's left and right. I'm sure. No. No? No, see that started it. Yeah, don't Do it press again. the button. No, no, but I switched between normal and hard with this button. Oh, you did? Yes, so oh, I went weird. to hit two, two and a half K, oh. and then I hit it and it started, so. Oh, weird, okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I press fire to play a simplified version of Omicron. C 2.5 version, so oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's the option where you can makes press the button. Makes sense, that makes sense. Um, so the person who made this game is Simone Sarah. Uh, main theme in clear state. Stage clear music, Phil Salafi, Control, Thomas Yench. <laughs> He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Uh, additional code, Alex Herbert, uh, Bob Montgomery. Special thanks, Eric Bogue, Oss, Stephen Anthony. Label and manual design, Nathan Strum. He's everywhere as well. Car production, Albert Yerusso, AtariH.com. So this has some voices we won't hear. <laughs> because we have to turn the volume off, otherwise we hear ourselves too. So everybody out there will hear extra sounds. But we won't? But we won't. Oh, that's I know, sad. there's no way. I have to get like an extra set of speakers to, to do that. To, to wire it And through. I've got enough garbage here going on, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. It's only when we play this off stream can we hear it. Oh, Simone, yeah, Sarah? Simone Sarah. Um, okay. So let's just uh, get into it. I will start going through. Should I hit start? Yep, go for it. Ooh, very nice. Water, Water resist. Stage one, resist. What am I doing? I'm shooting stuff? I don't know yet. Your mission, a team of four agents, each a special specialist in one of the four elements. Water, fire, air, and earth have been miniaturized to microscopic size in order to investigate a mysterious new virus that appears to be of alien origin. The virus mutates rapidly, mimicking each one of the four elements. But something went horribly wrong and contact with the team was lost. Now the virus threatens to grow out of control. 
You are the last hope to... S that was quick. You are the last hope to stop it. Having been miniaturized yourself, you now board the Omicron, a microscopic vessel dis designed specifically to counter the alien virus and stop it from spreading. Can you battle your way through each of the iteration of the virus and destroy the threat? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just shooting things and then I'm done, okay. apparently. Gameplay elements. Our enemy is an alien virus whose behavior mimics the four elements of water, fire, earth, and air. As part of its mutation, the virus periodically releases immune fragments. To neutralize the enemy, you must collect these fragments. Oh, you collect them! When you have collected enough, you will move on to the next infected area. So let me get this straight. I'm collecting them and not shooting them? It says collect them so far. I'm so pretty sure when I run that into... Thing. Get that thing. Get that what, thing. What, the blue? Get the blue thing. There you go. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Yep. Oh, gotcha. Okay. When you enter an infected area, the enemy spreads without paying attention to you. Once you collect a fragment, the virus elements will become aware of your presence will start to hunt you down. Yeah, they're moving towards you. Until the next fragment is released. So you have to wait for the next fragment to release. So if you wait too long to get the to get your fragment. Get the other one. Ah, 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 ah. You don't hit the walls. <laughs> don't hit the walls. Oh, you slow down and then, then you can't move properly. Okay, so the block the blue block there is the immune fragment. Collecting these is your primary mission. Omicron, your ship is con equipped with rapid-fire anti-matter cannon. The only thing between you and certain death. Virus root. Uh, virus root. Oh, those little green things are the virus root. Where new viruses emerge. They s multiply rapidly, but aren't deadly to you until they turn into virus elements. Oh. Virus elements. Uh... Oh, the things that flicker are the virus roots. And those things are virus elements once they're lines. Uh, the enemy, relentless and lethal to the touch. Uh, fragment counter, the top bar. Uh, that's your green bar at the top is your fragment counter. Counts down how many fragments need to be collected in the current infected area. So... Go, you're making it go down. Fragment timer, the lower bar, changes color depending on the situation. Blue, time remaining to collect the current fragment. Uh, red, time is about to expire. Yellow, time remaining before the next fragment is released. Mm. So we will watch what's happening. So now it's blue, so you have a bit of time to collect. Oh, now it's yellow. No, blue. that's the yellow is the countdown to the next fragment. To the next fragment. Oh. You're right on top of it. I know, that's not very nice. So blue, okay, now you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and now the next one's released. Go get it. Now you're waiting, okay. Lives remaining, top bars. So on the top right is how many lives you have left. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, so, oh. yeah. When the playfield gets really full. Virus core counter, lower bars. In absorb stages, you can collect up to three virus cores at a time, so we're not on that stage. <laughs> resist, absorb, okay, those are different stages. Okay, this is the resist stage. During this stage, you will have to eliminate the enemy with your antimatter cannon while collecting immune fragments. <laughs> is it difficult? Uh, You're just zooming about, around. You're moving too the, fast. Something, no, it's you've got a bit of momentum. Okay. It's a bit of, oh. <laughs> too fast. Yeah, you just get momentum and you start sliding so around. So you're in control A, which is higher acceleration. You can oh, go to control B. Oh, it is control A. No, so, it's fine. I mean, I it, can... You try control, oh, you're on hard. How did I end up on hard? No wonder it's so difficult. Control B it is. There, now let's try that. I wonder if I'm struggling through it. <laughs> it's probably l less things appearing now, or they're going after you less. Or the timers are faster. 
It was Empedocles who established the four ultimate oh, still died. Wow. elements which made all the structures in the world. Fire, air, water, and earth. Empedocles called these four elements roots from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Urgent communique to follow. Absolute top secret. Special operations agents. A few days ago, our research laboratories discovered a new lethal form of bacterial virus. After further analysis, we have determined the source of the virus appears to be an alien nature. Our strenuous efforts to stop the virus have proven unsuccessful, as the infected elements display an aggre extremely aggressive behavior. Okay. <laughs> what am I reading? Uh, aggressive behavior. There. Okay. Ag against extraneous life forms. It has been determined that the only way to neutral neutralize and defeat oh this God. threat is to collect and analyze the idle fragments of immune particles that coexist with the virus. After miniaturization, you will be introduced within a cluster of infected areas to collect those fragments. We cannot emphasize enough the importance of your mission for mankind and wish you the best. Why do they go nuts after you uh, collect your thing? Well, they all start run running towards you. Yeah. So they... <laughs> and they continue to multiply because I was thinking, oh, well, maybe they won't multiply once they're running towards you, but no, they continue to multiply. They don't multiply when you're collecting, do they? Yes, they, they continuously multiply. <laughs> all the continuously. time. Continuously, yeah. It's good. It's a good game. Oh it's fun. Oh, my God, it's hard. It's, it's changing, challenging, for sure. Stay out of their way. And here's the thing. So, it, try to shoot behind. It's weird. I think you turn when you hit the button. You, you can press turn. the button and then you can aim. Then you can aim, yeah. Which is good because you stay at the top and you can just keep firing down. Well, yeah, until it starts multiplying on top. But yes, that's true. Oh, get it. Uh, oh, it's angry. Yeah, what happens when it, it's angry? Um... Oh, uh, it'll, it'll run out of time, and then you'll lose a life. Oh, Yeah, that's eventually. what happened to me before. I didn't hit anything, it just ran out of time. I was having a hard time with the acceleration and getting to it, and then I was I would just run out of time. So when that blue bar runs out, I believe... You have one more to get. Good. Hi, Kevin. See, they do stop. They don't they, stop no, multiplying. No, they stop, but they don't stop multiplying. Oh my god. Yeah. So close! Okay, still only one to get, so... Yay! The first level's Good beat! Job. Stage clear. They come at you like Robotron. Yes, just... Yes, I supposed to. Absorb! Okay. I'm not gonna... Okay, can you read out Absorb? What do I have to do? Quickly. Why, you didn't tell me quickly. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, it's game over. Okay, your turn. Which is absorb. Where does it have the... Uh... There we go. Absorb. During these stages... You play again. I played okay. a lot. During these stages, you will not be able to operate the Omicron antimatter cannon. Instead, you will have to collect up to three virus cores to activate the um, Omicron's absorbing state. Oh, we have to collect them. Okay. You collect three cores. Then while the Omicron is in the absorbing state, it's morphogenetic it morphogenetically mutates making it possible to absorb virus elements by colliding with them. So first you pick up the three things, and then you collide with all the virus elements in the absorb stage. Okay. It only lasts for a short amount of time. When it is about to return to its normal state, the border color will flash. Virus cores only appear for a few seconds and then mutate into normal virus roots. If you already have three virus cores, no more will appear. That, but... uh, so you have to absorb three, and then you can shoot the virus elements. Absorb three... Virus cores. Virus cores? Those are flashy green things. Okay. It doesn't actually describe what they look like. Yeah, it does. Oh, no, it does. Yeah. It's when they're more of a solid color instead of lines. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard! <laughs> this is the easy level. This isn't even the hard version. Yeah, because they, they start migrating towards you and more and more show up. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. 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 It is really hard. And I just keep 
coming. They don't stop coming. Oh. And you start back at the beginning too, which nope. is don't. don't you? Nope. You keep you keep the number that you've collected. The number of cores? Yeah. Um there aren't there aren't cores. Those Oh sorry, the um I can't remember what they're called. What are they called now? Oh, it's angry at me. Oh. Immune fragments. Immune, immune fragments. Okay. <sighs> one more. Two more to get, I think. Yeah. Now it's one more. I'll have no lives to play the next level. Come on. Oh, no. One more to get. Oh, my God. Oh, if you're on the wall, you can't shoot. No, and you slow down. Just hop in there. That's weird. Okay. Absorb. So you absorb those white ones? Oh. Nope. Well, maybe you're absorbing the blue ones. That doesn't make okay. sense. Okay. Mm. That doesn't quite make sense. Says you collect up to three virus cores. Maybe that's misprint. No, you, it looks like you're back at the you're back at level one. Yeah, because I died. It's game over. Oh. <laughs> I have to start over again. Too hard. Because I, I went into it only having one life. That is the problem with a lot of games that are super hard. When you get to the hard part, you're already almost dead. Yeah. And you have no time to practice yeah. the super hard part. Yeah. And then you have to keep get making your way back to the hard part. That's what happened with Panky, pa Panky the Panda. Oh yeah, that one screen. Oh, don't, don't put that gun cap. No. It's going to get destroyed. <laughs> he makes a good show. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're a fluffy <sighs> shelf, aren't you? One more to get. I think after you get the last one, it counts down. You have to survive. Oh, no, no. It goes right away. There we go. Atari wants to play Atari. <laughs> it's going to help? Yeah. Okay, absorb. I'm not going to touch those things. I'm just going to touch my... Ah! You can't, you can't shoot them. There's another one. And then you Two. need a third one. Oh, so I what? can't... <sighs> it says I, you I have to get, absorb three. I did get one there. But you have to get them right when they are the cores. But you're supposed to change shape according to the, the image on the... Um... That's weird. Are you on hard mode? I hope not. It looks hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just... yeah, I... yeah, you slow down. Shoot. No. When you're up against the wall, you can't shoot because it makes sense because that's kind of safe. Yeah. On the wall. Hi, Perkins. Good little piece of program in there. It's so hard. I find a lot of games with um, momentum. Oh, they're hard. they're always. I always have trouble with that. I'm gonna make sure the options that normal. Was... Is there an easy? Nope. <laughs> Just normal. Now, what's the different fire types? Good question. Hey. Because that is just automatic. Okay. Uh, pressing fire will rotate the Omicron 90 degrees clockwise. Oh. Mm. This has more control over which direction. Yeah. How do you change direction? You hold the fire button? Hold the fire... Hold Sorry. the fire... No, that wasn't your phone. Hold the fire button and press in the direction. So you can do it really quick. You just press the button and change. I'm just gonna die. No point. Oh. oh, you're... Oh, you're safe in the corners. You can't shoot. But they can't get you either. Ah, that's unusual. So why not just hide out in the corners? Well, that's pretty cheaty. <laughs> so you can just like go around the whole screen, well, go right next that. to them, 
and then hide out. Hmm. Maybe that's not allowed. Of course, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's if a you nightmare don't if shoot you don't them, shoot anything. <laughs> it turns into a terrible nightmare. Oh, look how terrible it is. But they all stop when it's time to collect. See, they're not even moving. But I, yeah. It's not, I don't know if it's a good trade-off. And disadvantages to that. I'm not sure it's a good trade-off there. Theoretically, I guess you could keep the board super clear of things. Oh, your turn. your turn. It is a hard, hard game. Can't even barely make it into level two. You can plug an optional joystick into port two for dual controller gameplay. Oh, the only way that would work is if you had a, a setup that held them both in place. So, like I was supposed to say, uh, like Robotron, um, the game can control like Robotron. Does Robotron have dual stick in the arcade? I can't remember. Anyway, like Smash TV. How about that? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so hard, isn't it? It's hard. I uh, something weird about having to hit the fire button to make it turn. Because I want to, sh I want to hit the fire button to shoot. Oh, right. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing very well at uh, uh, getting it going, getting it going in the direction I want it to. If that makes sense. <laughs> right. It's not, it's not responding in the way I would have expected. And pressing the button stops you too. So you have to do like quick and then move. Oh, I so see. That's why. So don't hold it down. Yeah. Press it once to change directions of firing, and then keep moving. Yeah. Now you got it. That could have been an issue. Ugh. I don't think it uses a Atari Vox to talk. It just saves scores. I don't think we've even played well enough to get a score on the board. <laughs> Terrible. moving too much. <laughs> Just moving around too yeah, much? Yeah, I think so. So the... Th read the absorb. During these stages, you will not be able... This is for the absorb. Dual stick equals, equals Robotron. Okay, so there is dual stick in the Robotron games. Uh, during these stages, you will not be able to operate the Am Omnicron Antimatter Cannon. Yes, okay. Instead, you will have to collect up to three virus cores to activate... The Omicron's absorbing state. See, I was starting to get those. Those were difficult. Well, Omicron is in its absorbing state, it mo morphogenically mutates, making it possible to absorb virus elements by colliding with them. The Omicron absorbing state only lasts for a short amount of time. When it's about to return to its normal state, the border color will flash. Virus cores only appear for a few seconds, then mutate into normal virus roots. If you already have three virus cores, no more will appear. Okay. That is super challenging. Especially if they're as short as they are on here. Because they're only flashing for like... Two seconds, maybe? Second and a half? Brutal. Then the one after that, Rescue. The virus has mutated and is working as a unified intelligence, trapping each fragment. You must blast your way in and free them. Collect bonus stage. Uh, collect as many fragments as possible. This mutation of the virus is non-lethal, but it will still try to slow you down. It's very close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to finishing the stage? Yeah. If you collect all the fragments, you will get a hundred bonus points, point bonus, and an extra virus core. Lives. You start the new game with three lives. An extra life is awarded every 2,000 points. That's, that's a lot of points to get. You only have 42. And you get 10 for that. Oh my goodness. And like... How many? How many for shooting one of those? One! Oh my god. You must get a lot of bonus points for finishing a level then. Because 
hope so. You don't get you don't get any just playing like this. It's crazy. Two thousand points. Up to a maximum of four. If you already have four lives, the next two thousand points will give you a full set of virus cores. Good luck with that. You lose a life if you collide with any virus element unless the Omnicron is in its absorbing state. If you fail to collect a fragment before the fragment timer expires, you lose a life. Okay. I'm gonna read about that countdown again. Red. You know, something totally weird is happening. I can't get it to change the direction. It's flipping out. What is happening to it? It's not changing direction. Flipping out! Very strange. Let's start <sighs> that again and see if it's... Something. Oh. No, it's bug. okay now. Bug Some in the game. Kind of bug there. That was very, very weird. Yeah. I'm like, is it me? Yes. No, it's not me. Found a bug, <laughs> found a bug in the game. Well. Somehow, it was like not changing directions and it was like flipping out. It was like going crazy. Oh my goodness. It's one. so hard. <laughs> it's good though. I mean it has a good uh, game Oh, the, play me and the mechanics. The mechanic, are, but it's just hard. It's, it's, hard, it's hard, 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 hard. It's not an I think easy it game. should have been made a little easier. Like less, less of these guys. Coming on the well, screen, they, maybe? they start swarming you on the screen, and at that point, it becomes a lot more difficult to, to avoid them. Maybe okay. I should be taking advantage of this the sides, time, like this time right here, to clear out. I don't know. The I don't board, know. because everything freezes, so you have a bit of time. Like right now, I can shoot a bunch, but they still come on the screen. So, and you still have to get it before it time runs out, right? Yeah. You, you do have a limited amount of time. So I think it's just best to just go for it. Just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. And stay far away. Just far, far, far away. Because sometimes they go for you really rapidly if you're near them. Yeah, if you're near them, some sometimes it seems like they jump. They jump like they two jump spots. in space. Yeah. So they they're yeah. randomly controlled. Yeah. They they don't always move. Definitely needs two joysticks. Um, yeah. That would be really helpful, but you have to have a pretty good setup for that, or one of the Ed Ladin joysticks. Um, I know there's some dual sticks that he sells, or they sell, get over here. Um, so that would be really, really good. Oh, so busy. Uh, it out. Get out of here. Yay! Look, only 181 points for know, one level. for one level. And yeah. 2,000 is when you get an extra life. This, this game is brutal. Okay, so I have to get like that. There. 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 I have to get it before time runs out. That's one. <gasps> And I can't even shoot. Oh, I can do something. You, you absorb them. Now I can absorb them. Now you them. can absorb them, but then... Now I can't. When the, the screen flashes. Too late. And I touched it when it was too late. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay, there's one. Oh, oh my God. What happened? Oh, because I was supposed to... Now it's time to... Oh, this one has a, a bunch of different, like, parts to it. Made it further. No, that you <laughs> you did really well. <laughs> definitely <laughs> needs two joysticks. Like Star Castle, definitely needs five buttons. Yes, it does. Yeah, <laughs> Star Castle Hard needs five buttons. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Left, right, fire, warp. Oh, right into it. I know. I, like I said, away. I'm not great with the. Uh... It's so fast. Why is it so fast? Because <laughs> it's a brutal game. But look how fast some of these those little it's random specs run You've around. You've not heard the Atari Vox? It's it's not. There is no voice in this. It's it looks like it's only for um, keeping the high scores, which I'm sure we're not getting. Because 
I don't know what the high score is. Next time, nope. what, next time you die, wait till it goes to the title screen, and we can see what that's about. Actually, we're gonna play the 2.5 game. 2.5k. The, the 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 one for the small children. Yeah. Is that? I hope so. Let's see what it says about this. In the 2.5k version, you will have to face hordes of increasingly dangerous virus virus elements without intermission and only one life. So apparently, the 2.5k is harder than this. That's crazy. Ugh. Crazy. Gameplay. As you progress through the game, you'll have the opportunity to collect and immediately break virus cores to absorb the enemy. Colliding with the infected area border will slow you down, and you will not be able to operate the Omnicron antimatter cannon for a short amount of time. If you stay in contact with the border for too long, you'll lose your only life. So in that one, you can't stay in the border. One more to get. No, oh, watch out. did it! Yay. Is this your first time? Yeah, through the first stage. <laughs> Yay! It a while. So what am I doing? I'm catching the virus. Oh, the, it's complicated. It's like three ones. different things you have to do. So get that one in the corner. Quick. Oh, too late. There you go. Get it. Now get the block. Now press the button. And go get them all. Get them all. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, stop getting them. Now get that thing. Now get that. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God, only they're... solid ones, only solid ones. But none of not them are flashing. solid. That's right. There. No. Eat them all up. Eat them all up. You're doing better than I am. Because now I kind of understand what's going on. Get that. Oh, too late. Don't get. Don't. Oh, you can. Oh. Get you push way the better. button. But you push the button, you're an absorb. absorb. Yes. Yeah, but I hadn't caught things. I know. It kind of. After That's the first really time. Really, really weird. Maybe you can just keep hitting the button and absorbing things. Yeah. Oh, because you're absorbing them. I think you're getting three more, which allows you to press a button again. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna play the 2.5 game. Okay. 2.5K, because we gotta move on. How do I get back? Press the button. Go down to options. 2.5K. Okay. Oh. Whoa, whoa, it's whoa. fast. What is happening? What? Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> What was that? Oh, I hit the side and yeah. I stopped firing. You stopped oh. firing when you hit the side. Okay, okay. You just keep... Oh, it's just clearing out. Oh, clearing out. It's difficult, though. I have to say, I do really like the music. The random kind no, of music? No, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I like it. It is unique. It's the same person who programmed um, lead, or lead, lead, not lead, because it was used in context, and lead would only make, or lead only makes sense in the context it provided. Oh no! Stop firing again! And also Palomino, and both of those games have... <gasps> They're going towards you now. Oh god. And both of those games have unique um, music as well. Kind of random -y music. The author obviously loves random music. No. Challenging. Interesting. It Challenging. is a different type of game. It's kind of last as long as you can type of game. But the acceleration is on high it's, all it's, the it's time. It's ridiculous. It's out of control. Yeah, in my notes, here we go. Uh, also made lead and Palomino. And Palomino is a really crazy game. It's like Tetris, but you move the things on the board. No, this talks all the time. This does? Oh. I swear I saw it. Maybe it came out. Or maybe the cat walked across the. That is certainly possible. Plugged in. 
hard to tell. Well, we have to <laughs> deal with no talking right now. <laughs> and they start all coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Beefy Morris, welcome. It says, welcome to Onicron. Omicron. Okay, so don't say anything. I saw something go on the board. Did it say, welcome to Omicron? Or no? Because <laughs> I saw something go up on the board like some, like the uh, Atari Vox was talking. Okay, well we're gonna have to move on to the okay. next game anyway, because I can't troubleshoot this. Actually, I can troubleshoot. Um, one second. Stage one resist. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't, I can't troubleshoot now. I'll have to do it later. Sorry. Just have to deal with no Atari Vox right now. Okay. So the next game we have is KO Cruiser. And this is actually from a line of games that started in the arcade. Mm. Um, it is based off of Punch-Out. Okay. And then NES mm. made Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Yes. And so I'm going to play a video um, from the arcade Punch-Out so you get an idea of where this game came from. Let me just bring this up. So you can see there's you're the player in the front, the mm -hmm. wireframe guy, mm -hmm. and there's your opponent. Um, oh, it's kind of weird on the screen. Sorry, I'll fix that up after. But because I switched from one monitor to the other, so we're not looking over there. We're looking here at video footage, but they have different resolutions. So actually, I can fix that right now. One second. There we go. Unlock that. Slide it over. There we go. There we go. That's better. Um, so it's based off of this, and then um, then there's Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and it's kind of mm. it's a pattern. It's more like a puzzle game mm. where you have to figure out when to hit the opponent yeah. based on their movements. Um, so it's, uh, this was made by Devin Cook in 2010, and he also made Angry Video Game Nerd KO Boxing. So he changed all the graphics. Oh, really? In this, in this game. <laughs> yeah. To be AVGN based graphics. Nice. So let's load this one up. Now I've never played this game. There we go. Oh, and it's got nice, uh, nice credit screen at the beginning. That's very cool. Okay. One second. Looks not Loom. What? Uh, yes, I play test tested this one a lot. One of my favorite homebrews. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome 
to the show. Uh, so looks like there's three different levels. Here One we go. It will be for me. I never played. Look at that title screen. It's lovely. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's really lovely. Oh my goodness, that's one of the best. Simple, but really nice title screen. I'm missing all the music too. Let me get out the instructions for this. So it's you see that you still have a kind of a wireframe look to it, which is really creative because they're just drawing on every second line. Looks like you got a punch in. Usually the first guy is super easy to hit. I hope so. <laughs> oh, he's coming to get you with his... Uh, oh. oh! So let me get the instructions. So there should be punching left and right, and there should be like a block. There's no block. Just punching. Oh, there's got to be a block. Or maybe when it's he comes after me, there's a block. Because there's only one button, right? Well, there's up, oh. down, left, right button oh, so true. there's lots of possible. yeah but i'm i can i move around oh no i don't go up and down i don't know interesting no you don't move up and down i'm sure you can there we go ko cruiser or knockout cruiser i guess get him he's stunned get him i think when his eyes go red he's stunned no, he, he's about oh, to hit you. Mr. Beefy Morris says, hold button down, hold button and down for block. Ah, excellent. Anyone heard from Devin recently? He was going to do one where people created their own fighters. Oh, very cool. The AV Gen was never on cart and the fighters should have different attacks. Yeah. So there was all the um, different characters from the AVGN universe. I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Not much I can tell. <laughs> Go get him. Uh, Go get him. No, I can't. I can't. I can't move. Must be a way. Nope. Can't move up, down, left, nope, right. No, I'm done. Oh, it's over. Round two. Round two. Well, that's why you couldn't move. Hold button and down for block. Yeah, I see. Okay. I time boxing that, right? rules, opponents, difficulty, boxing rules. Where's the movements? Let's do that first. Gameplay, okay. Yeah, forward, move forward. Left, right, move back. So you can move forward, you just press forward. Of course, he's got you right up against the the ropes right now. You cannot block yellow punches. Okay, so now move up, move forward, just press up. There you go. You just didn't even press up? No, no, I couldn't. Oh. I, I can't move around him. I can't go Oh, no, you can't him. go past him. You can't him. go past him. And so. I'm if he's already pinned you, it's too late. It's weird though, I don't, I don't... Okay, forward, move forward. Left, move left or dodge left. Right, move right or dodge right. Down, move back. The button, forward is guard, back is guard. Button and left is left punch. Button and right is right punch. Oh, I see. That's why <laughs> it wasn't quite... Mm. So if you line up your left hand, you should be able to... Or your right hand yeah, with his face. Yeah, but I don't seem to be hitting him at all are you up right up against him yeah nowhere else for me to go if your opponent has pulled back his glove and is ready to punch you can press left or right and automatically dodge if you're not in danger left and right will simply move your boxer oh you're down for the count press button press button that's okay you can play i, I i'm 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 still um i never played punch out so oh not at all i, I no. oh okay. so i don't really know the game so it's similar to punch out yeah and so i'm like uh it's like i think i'm hitting him but i'm not at all so oh you guys have to let me know when i haven't switched the game there we go okay doesn't seem to do anything though see your your bar's not going up so you must have to hit him as he's about to hit you i don't know or after he's hit me. Oh, there, there go. you go. Okay. Can't punch unless they miss you. Thank you. Oh. Counter punch after oh. he misses. That makes sense. It looks really good. I, I'm quite impressed. I like... Uh... Oh, I see. So after he hits you and misses, you can go punch, 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 punch. There we go. Okay, that so makes more sense. So he goes sense. to punch, you block, and then go punch, punch, punch. 
So you can't punch until they miss you. That, yeah. That seems weird. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that I was confused with. They I'm like, always I go appear first. to be hitting him, but nothing seems to be happening. So you just stand there, then wait. You dodge. And then you hit him back. So you just stand there and wait. Oh, he's angry. He's going to come get me. And dodge. And right, left, right, left. Oh, nope. Block. Okay. That's the timing, too. Yeah. And if, like, in Mike Tyson's punch out, or punch out mm. for the NES after that name expired, they couldn't use Mike really? Tyson after a while. <laughs> when they reissued it, they only got it for a certain amount of time. Really? That's and then they just replaced the last guy and yeah. all the graphics. Yay! Good job. So now to the second person, if you want to read sure. instructions for the second person. Sure, sure, sure. Very much like Punch Out, where you could hit randomly some. So, KO Cruiser is a first person boxing game that matches ah. you against six different boxers with different strengths, weaknesses, and styles. Do you have what it takes to be the champ? Is the gold belt within your reach? Let's find out. Note, always turn the console power switch off when inserting blah, blah. and removing Atari Age blah 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 blah. Yeah. So gameplay, the main screen displays your boxer and your opponent as well as the clock, your health, and your opponent's health. To move your boxer, use the joystick plugged into the left controller jack on your Atari video computer system. If your opponent has pulled back his glove and is ready to punch, you can press left or right to automatically dodge. Oh. If you are not in danger, left and right will simply move your boxer. To either guard against the computer or throw a punch, hold down the button and move the joystick. This guy got me! Oh, rematch. Oh, good. Okay. So I get to continue on. Can you read out what this guy is, please? So I know what's going on. So you played Tomato Can. This is Casey Nova. Um, Casey Nova arrogantly believes that he is God's gift to women. He entered boxing to show the world how handsome and stylish he truly is and to make the ladies swim. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does he do? He's killing me. I need some info. Yeah. Specials. I am so great. Nova backs off and chuckles over his looks. In the process, he recovers some life. Uh, Disco. It. Nova dances around and delivers some stylish punches. That's all it says. Ugh. I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't seem to dodge or... Or block. Oh. So, there. I, do I blocked and it did nothing. Blocked and it did nothing. So you didn't dodge? Left, right? Um, I'll have to try the dodge again. Because left, left and right is to dodge the Just punch. left. Not with, not button. Okay. Yeah, just left, right. Block those. Oh, I, I tried to block. You have to time them, I'm guessing, like, perfectly. Because on this guy, I can just hold down the block. Well, there's... And it doesn't hurt me. Right? Yeah, but it may be... It's probably different depending on the... Uh... You have to hold the button down and, and down. Didn't look like he was blocking. Okay. So there I'm blocking. And it worked. Now if you block a punch, you have to hit down again. Oh, so it takes you out of that. Okay. That makes sense. So you're blocking until and you, you have hit to block down. again. Yeah. If he if he hits you during a block, we well, can get that guy out. In to one either time. guard against the computer or throw a punch, hold down the button and move the joystick. So you can hold the button and go left, right, left, right, punch, 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 punch. Yes. Yeah. I got that down. So that's how I got the first guy. So it's this guy. I'm just gonna try blocking. So we'll watch. I'm blocking. Yep. Ah, yeah. It did block the first punch. Punch him. Damn it. Oh! I don't know when you're supposed to punch this guy. No. No. Ah. 
I've tried to punch it him says, after every though, punch. It says that, he throws. that um, don't do that. It says that he'll dance around yeah. and deliver stylish punches. It also says Nova backs off and chuckles over his looks. I don't know if you can move forward and hit him at the same time. I don't know. Maybe you just have to dodge. Oh, oh. there you go. Right after. Right after his two punches. One. Oh, my God. One. What? He will pose with the glove out for a bit after the dancing jabs. Okay. Will I get up? Yep. Okay. Okay. Dodge. Block. So after he throws the two. One, two. Punch, 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 punch. Okay. His Cut. eyeballs get red, too. Damn it. His eyeballs yeah. get all red. <laughs> when he throws a punch. Yeah. So I got a bit on him that time. It's laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Punch him when when chuckling. Oh, okay. Rematch. The graphics for the opponents and the ring are really, are really good. good. Yeah. Oh my god. He, he takes a big chunk of your health out, too. Yeah. Come on. God. Yeah. He can't He can't block too early. Oh, he gains power when he laughs. Well. One, two, punch, 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 punch. I mean, he hits you, and you, it, it takes a big chunk out of your health. Yeah. You hit him, and it's like this teeny tiny little bit that comes out. Of course. You can't block too early on this guy, yeah. unfortunately. Yay! Yay! He's going to get back up, though. Is he? Oh, for sure. But not with full health. Usually it's with reduced health. Yeah, but then you don't have... You should gain more health, too. You should. But you don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, you you gain full health. No, I'm down to a tiny little sliver still. Oh, jeez. But I haven't been knocked down yet. Now, now it's time. So finally, I got him. I've got a pattern. I don't know how to get him when he's dancing though. Hmm. Round two. Will you get some health back at least? Well, that's good. So does he, though, right? No, I don't. Uh, Probably a little bit, because you get to regain No, I don't a think he of... got more health. I think you did. He gained health oh. when he. I just have to block this. Mm. Oh. I'm almost done. He can't hit me again. Or I'm done. One more. Got him. Woo! He, he might get up this time. Maybe. Of course, the next guy is going to be like, I don't know how to do it. Oh, yes. Woo! Boom for boxing. <laughs> that works. Yay! Third guy. What's right. it? Can you read that quickly? So, not his description. Just oh come on, skip Wally the... B from Canberra, Australia. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Southern Cross. Wally hops around the ring and finishes <gasps> with a devastating so blow. Oh my god! He's gonna hop around the ring. He's hopping around. It's the yellow. He's about to hit.
does the Southern Cross, then boom, it, you probably have to hit him. Oh, weird. I'm gonna die. Takes a little bit before he throws it. Maybe I uh, can do it then. The yellow punch there. Is, is, yeah, the yep. hard punch. Oh, no. Yeah. But I was able to hit him while he was winding up his yellow. While Dodging will be more up. vital when they throw yellow punches, so get ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't been really... Oh, my God, I haven't been pressing the button. Get up, get up, get up, get up, quick, 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 quick. Oh, I forgot to press the button. Do I get a rematch? Please? One rematch. Hit left or right before he throws it to dodge the yellow. Mm. Okay. Oh, good. Rematch. It says you can, can keep going. Only once, though. Okay. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, when am I supposed to hit him? <laughs> You're just getting pummeled. I am. It's terrible. You can't, you can't hit him. You can't dodge him? Uh, I dodged too early, maybe in the wrong direction. Mm. I'm supposed to, when he's throwing a left, I'm supposed to dodge right. Which makes sense. Up. But I, I can't, you can't hit him before he hits you. So there's some way... Block, block, hit direction away from his punch. Okay, okay, let's try that. <laughs> Mr. Beefy Morris has clearly played this game a few <laughs> a times. A lot, yes. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on. One more try, please. Yes, yes. Did I? Yes, good. But I've got, like, one more hit, and I'm done. One, two... Ah. <laughs> There's a real delay to him throwing the punch. A long one, and that's when you have to throw the yeah. opposite. Block, block, hit direction away from his punch. Yeah. No. No? <laughs> what are the levels? I'm not very good at uh, It's just the, the different six different guys. So if I go... No. It, well, it probably levels Twice up. as fast, twice as powerful. Gotcha. So it's not the third guy. Like I say, I play tested a lot for Devin. <laughs> he couldn't dodge early on. Yeah. Okay, let me try it's all timing with one dodging stuff more like that. round of this. Sounds good. Is there any other settings besides the difficulty? Um... And could you read O2 made this? <laughs> so written and designed by Devin D. Cook. Cover art to manual layout by Nathan Strum. Nathan Strom. <laughs> and usual. feedback and testing. Greg Dement, Corbett Ducharme, One of Christian those guys Diegrich, is him. Yeah. <laughs> David Griffith, Ryan Ham, John K. Harvey, Matthew Johnson, Greg Kennedy, Tim Lepitino, Ron Lloyd, Ivan Machado. Machado. For all these people, thanks or testing. Feedback and testing. Ah. Zach Matley, Bob Montgomery, Bob, uh, Bob Montgomery. Pardon me. Phil Salafe, Daryl Spice Jr., Nathan Strum, uh, David Vasquez, Chris Walton, Albert Yaruso. Any of them named B Mr. Beefy Morris? <laughs> <laughs> Any Morris? No. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> made up name. Completely made up name. Mr. Beefy Morris. Um, anyway, we're not going to give away people's handles. So, no, but uh, they... <laughs> <laughs> I said his name. Oh, you're bending it. I'm not bending it. Just stop accusing bending me of such it. things. No, there's no settings no. on the Atari. Like the difficulty switches. No. Okay, now this guy is fairly easy now. <laughs> now that I know how to get him. I told him not to put me on there that... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do when he's dancing. Maybe nothing. Maybe Just there's block. nothing you can do. Ah, damn it. Oh, I have to block two. Block two. Hit, 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 hit. One, two... Oh. 
You can only get three hits on him. That's okay. <sighs> oh, he gets. He takes such a chunk out of you too. It's bad, mean guy. Me, so meany. Yeah, your hits do almost nothing. Mm -hmm. And his hits like take you a third down. Block, block, hit, hit, hit. Block, block, hit, hit, hit. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Block, block, hit, hit, hit. hit, hit. hit. There we go. There we go. Oh, practice dodge on this first guy. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I didn't see that in time. <laughs> now I can't practice. Now I'm... Oh! Yeah, there's another round. You just dodge him. Oh, one. Dodge, dodge, hit, hit, hit. <laughs> Somebody, it smells like somebody's making hash browns. Yeah, Bar uh, like bacon or something. Oh, oh time's up. Well, it's definitely barbecue season. And yeah, barbecue it smells time. Very beefy out there right now. Yeah, well, beefy it's Friday. Pork. Yeah. Press a button at certain times. Oh. oh my goodness. Ah Yeah, if you block too early. You're done it for just, it just gets worn off on more than the first guy. The first guy you can block like a minute before he throws it. Oh. Forgot to press it again. <gasps> block. 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 Hit, hit, hit. Really good faces. Oh. oh no, it's only my first time. Really good faces on the opponent. Oh great, yeah. yeah. The opponents look really good. Oh. God. Uh oh. He's laughing. Oh, he's getting power back. And he's dancing. And he hit me. Work my way back up within a minute. Might be able to get him. Yay! Yay! Let's see if he stays down. Stay down. Stay right down. Back. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six opponents. Ah! Ah! I wasn't paying attention. I should be able to get back up again. He's got so much power. I've got like a blip. Oh no, time's up. Yeah. Round three. Fight! At least it got me a little bit of health back at the end of the round. I think I've only taken him down once, so he won't get a TKO. This would be a good game for a, a full show to figure out all the characters. One more. Yes! Please stay down! Stay down! Six, seven, no, he's back up! And more wine. <laughs> Why not? Wine not. What? How come I couldn't punch him there? Okay, I think I can make it in time. He's doing his dance. Block, block, punch, punch, punch. Oh, I got him on a dance one. I suppose this says I don't have this game. You can... Oh, you can punch him while he's laughing. Nice. Oh, I got him. 
You can download the um, Angry Video Game Nerd version of this um, online, and it's pretty much the same. Like the patterns, I think, are different, but and the characters are different, but it's the same game. Um, so if, I don't know if you can download this, um, but you can definitely download the other version, which will give you a very good idea of this game. Okay. This guy, I don't even know if I got a punch in on him. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. oh, you have to go so fast. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna dodge. Oh, I got out, out of the way, but I still didn't punch him. <gasps> okay. Now I did get a punch in on this guy before. God. I think you can. This was one of my first homebrews. Oh, you can download this one? Some older homebrews you can download. Um, let's just do a search for it. KO Boxing ROM. Um, oh my god. Oh. Terrible! <laughs> it's so hard. It's all. It's a puzzle. It's once you figure out the puzzle, you can do it. But no, it's over. Okay, move it on. <laughs> This game's hard. Hard, 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 hard. But, um, well made. Really good graphics. Very good. But it's just... I really love the look of it. Once you figure out how to do each of the guys, it's not so bad. Yeah. But it's well, the figuring out. Did you play um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out in those games? Like I wasn't very good at it. Yeah, but, but you did play them. But I would just have to write down the pattern and then and I then, did play them. like memorize the I patterns. got up to, you know, a couple guys, but... Yeah. It's just memorization. Yeah. That's all it is. I really and like... And reflexes at higher levels. Yes. Like yeah. Massively. Yeah. Like that third guy, you have to have pretty fast reflexes yeah. to uh, block his uh, punches. Because he goes, red bang. Red bang. Yeah. Oh. Yep. This is the one. Blinky goes up. Beautiful box art, by the way. Very 60s? 50s? What, 60s? what is I mean, that? 70s? Uh, maybe 70s? Kinda... I, I just, that black and white art is really cute. I, just I think the that's look really of nice. the dude. You, I've yeah. seen that kind of artwork before. Like, I don't know. It's very retro, let's mm -hmm. just say. If you love the artwork of this box, feel free to visit Love Machine with a three for the E. <laughs> so, obviously they got somebody that is a professional artist mm -hmm. to do the artwork. It's very, very cool. Very Code cool and artwork that, by Jan Hermans. So, nice. the same person who did the coding of the game did the artwork. Nice. So they're advertising for themselves. Nice. 2012, right at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Avoid the ground. <laughs> Blinky goes up. Let's pop this in. Very crunchy. I don't like it when they're crunchy. The author did 100% of Blinky. Oh, there we go. We're up. Excellent. MMX2. Oh, you don't see that very often. Done in uh, Roman numerals. The date. On video games. On the Atari no, games. No, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, here you go. Do you want me to read it? No, nope. you want to read it? Yep. You're going to tell me what to do? Yep. For Catherine, the love of my life. One day Blinky finds himself at the bottom of a dark dungeon. And there's only one way out. Up. Oh, got to change the graphics again. Not very good this episode. There we go. Oh, weird. So the up, the up. Is jump? Yeah. Uh-oh. Like, uh, this is going to take a second. <laughs> so the up, you can jump with the up button or you can jump with the fire button. Oh, both? Yeah. Oh. I always use a fire button if possible. Um, because the up, especially on a direction pad, would... Uh, Blinky finds himself at the bottom of Dark Dungeon. There's only one way out. Up. 
One player used left joystick, fire or up to jump. There are passages where you need to perform an air walk. Just run over the edge of any platform and press fire while Blinky is falling. He'll perform a jump then. Need that dot, I'm guessing. The f oh, you okay. didn't get the dot, but you made it out. The faster you run, the longer your jumps. Gotcha. Collecting four gold nuggets gives you an extra life, which would be very useful, I think. There you go. The perfect game. Collect every gold nugget and don't lose a life. The villains. 2B, which is that thing. That guy there is named 2B. Bolly, which is a ball, which I don't know if we've seen yet. Shooty, ah! which is, we did just see Shooty. <laughs> it's hard but doable. Oh, wow, the instructions are amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're like, could fit on half a page, but there's this next page. Oh, you can barely see them, but maybe you guys can. And they're just really big and beautiful and... What is this type of graphics called? Typography type type something? Oh, the graphic? Oh, I, I where, don't know. Where it's like big words and the words are down the side. And... Terrible. <laughs> oh, terrible. Beautiful big. And this is the only game I found that this person has ever made. And it's surprising because it's so beautifully done. Yeah, that that's I would think game. that this, like they would do another one. Oh jeez, I keep it's this whole concept of um, not going back down. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah. If you, what was ah, what had a bottom no longer has a bottom. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, when you hit the upper, when you hit the diagonal, you jump. Oh, so you can jump accidentally. Yes. Oh, they should have just made it the fire button then. <laughs> Hitting your head. It does make it kind of interesting. So that's the end of the level. That's yeah. kind of the door out, that little... Same color as the... Um... So the person who programmed this one is named Jan Hermans. Blinky goes up. Uh, 2012. So six years ago. And it's the only game that I found on... Um, Arena Foot's list of homebrew games, and he keeps like the master list that they ever made, unless they went under a different name, like a pseudonym. But uh, very floaty. Jump, eh? uh, it depends. Oof. That's how you died last time. Uh, no. Jan Hermans programmed this in assembly 4K, I think. 4K. Wow. Who knows how many levels? Yeah, it's definitely an assembly looking game. Let me see if there's any more information on um, Atari Age's page, on their store page, because usually there's a bit more information. And I bought this because I like platformers and the artwork on this just looked so different and so original. Shoot! Oh man! Do you want to play? Yep. Here. Can read out that. Avoid the ground. One day Blinky finds himself. Oh, you've already said that. Yeah, you can skip most of that probably. Uh, what do you want me to say? Um, Blinky goes Anything up. Anything new? <sighs> Missed the time. How big's the cartridge down there? 4K? 4K. Okay, it is 4K, which is really impressive. <gasps> you can't get enough airtime to do that. Jump back over because you hit your head. Yeah, you have to wait till he gets kind of past. You have to time it. So, and then you want to jump over him, and then you don't want to go off the edge because if you go off the edge, then you plummet to your death. Oh, we don't want that. No. It's about getting used to these kind of floaty controls. They are a but little But you jump floaty. really high, though. You jump super high. 
And like, um, it's actually kind of fun to play without the button. Really? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Because uh, it's a different way of controlling. Like where you use the diagonal and, and the upward no, jump. No, I don't like that. Um, that's I interesting. I don't like jumping with the up button. <gasps> Did you die there? <laughs> uh, I died somewhere similar, yeah. for sure. <laughs> that's a small platform. Yeah. Because it yeah. is slippery, If there's no wall, too. then you will fall off the edge. So. It is It is slippery. That's another thing that's you have to watch out for. So you have to kind of time your stopping. So if you've got a wall there, like mm. here, it's totally fine. And here, where I'm jumping up to now. But it lulls you into a, a false sense of security when you're doing like there yeah because there's no wall there and in the video games you think oh i, I won't fall you're, off that. you're on the, the edge you're on but you're not on wall. the edge yeah there's no there's no wall there so you have to be careful up there too yeah but there's okay um i'm going to just run across this i don't know in a lot can. of video games you can do that where it's just like bloop, 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 well bloop. you'll find out in the first uh, hole Oh, oh, I ran nope. across the first one, but it kind of slows you yeah, down. Yeah, it doesn't. I jumped. I jumped across. Did it you? was okay. You can c control Blinky in the air. Oh, so okay. So generally, it's. Uh, I didn't find it too hard to land properly. Okay. Yeah. He's a pretty good jumper. Whoa, <sighs> that maybe was too good. Close was close. It's like doodle jump. Okay. If you fall down, you're dead. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay. Mm. Level three. Oh, too early. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That is definitely all about timing. And back to the beginning. <laughs> oh. It is definitely challenging. Because that, that laser goes... <laughs> that was terrible. The review said... I think a review said six levels. Okay. That is a, an appropriate amount, I think. That is a very appropriate amount. Oh, jeez. It doesn't say... Terrible in here on the Atari H store. There are four reviews, okay. Um, oh my gosh. No, none of them say how many levels there are in the review. Oh, there it is. I only wish there were more than six levels or perhaps increasing difficulty on those available levels oh, to give the game more replayability. Though I understand this would go beyond the restraints of 4K. Hopefully the success of this homebrew will inspire Mr. Hermans to make use of the availability of larger program carts to put out another Blinky game with more levels and challenges. I love this game. I yes, that, that, that would be a really good to have a successor to this. Blinky goes somewhere else. <laughs> Blinky goes to town. Oh, you could jump up there? Yeah, because I, I was not doing think well. Think about that. Ah! It jumps if you hit the, hit the diagonal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... No button mashing allowed. That's why I don't like jump for... Oh. I knew that I knew, I knew that was a problem. No, no, no. <laughs> one more time. You didn't like your gameplay of that one? No. Yeah. Oh, you're on there. Get up there again. Oh no, I fell down. Oh no. Precarious positions. There you go. All right. It's terrible. Now why are they red on the bottom Those sometimes? Your lives. I don't know. Because they change color when you got a Is it little just the dot or something. Now they're green. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm not sure. <gasps> Bug. Oh, it's the thing going back and forth that was kind of there. Yeah, I saw that. Ooh, a bug. Not a big bug. Not a game-breaking bug or anything. No. Just a graphical. Little graphical bug. 
yeah, the animation, they definitely achieved what they sought out with the animation. Um, and the artwork as well. Well done. When I consider what would be what would be tech feasible and fun on a 2600, Vertical Jumper was the conclusion I reached. John Carmack. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Making it further than I did. There's the bouncy ball. So what happened to the bouncy ball? I don't know. Just avoid it. Nothing special. <laughs> just a ball. Just have to get over it. Uh, Blinky Goes Up is a platform game for the Atari 2600 uh, video game computer system featuring six right on the back of the box. Vertically smooth scrolling levels and superbly animated characters. I would find that hard to put on my own box. <laughs> what? Superbly animated? Superbly animated characters like you're blowing your own horn. But you gotta, you know, you gotta say what it is. They are really well animated. And that only comes with so many, like, the number of frames of... Oh, that was that a tough, tough one. Oh, right back there. Right back to the beginning. And with no collection of those things, too. I know, it kind of sucks. And you missed one, but... That's okay. Did you run under or jump? Yeah. Whoa, what did you do last time? I ran under. Ran under as well? Okay. Oh, no, you, you need the bust. full length. Full length run. Yeah. Wow. You don't be, seem to be losing lives. Like, if, you, what? if you're collecting those little dots, it's helping you. Ah, oof, that was bad Oh, time. now you're down because you didn't yeah. get out of the red. Ah. Uh, oh. No, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> Damn it. Ah! Oh. See, some of it's just the... The movement is a little awkward, but interesting. Yeah, that's much better. Sounds like a kid's thing is going on I don't know. The There's a screen up there, too. Oh, they're going to play movies? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't know they did they ever play movies before? No, there? I've never seen them play we movies. We have a park there. near us. Right, right across, sort of like kitty corner so to where we are. So. Bands playing sometimes. Yeah. Which is cool. Events. Um, but yeah, yeah there's cool. you can hear like faint music in the background. It's because they're they're doing, doing something in the park today, so but uh, yeah, I looked outside and it was hard to see, but it looks like they have a big screen set up. So maybe they're oh. doing a showing of a movie. Well, there are a lot of those. Around Vancouver. He's talking about moose. I know, which makes me think kids. Kids. Movie. Yes, he's talking like it's a kids event. Yeah. <laughs> no lives lost. Good job. Level three. Here's where I lose it. This is hard. You have to time it perfectly. Ooh! Oh. It is tough. I don't even know if it's worth it. Because you don't... Yep. Oh, good job. That is hard. And the perfect game is going through it with no lives lost. Oh my god. It does kind of climb up. Yeah, I'm going to run for it. No, no, be close. You have to be really close to it to run under it. Oh. oh no. I'm doing badly. You can skip it. You don't have to get it. No. Have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This will be a good game to revisit as well. Mm-hmm. I need to practice and come back to it. Yep. Uh, practice yeah. is all live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Still talking about moose. What? No, you got further than me. What did I? Yeah. Oh, right. Can you jump over them? Oof. I'm going to have to. Don't know. No, I have to. There's not enough time to run under it. No? 
Oh, you can jump oh, pretty you can high. Jump. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> that was close to the ledge. That was very close to the ledge. Moose or a goose? <laughs> Is that what's going on? I don't know. Are you a moose or a goose? <laughs> Whoa. You just don't think about that in games. I have to be back. That's what happened on the second. Yeah, you can completely clear it. Yeah, see, so you, you want it on the down. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, I was trying, but he's. It's oh, they so are. They're, they're hard. challenging. It's all timing. And you don't have any running ability. They're exactly the same, so I have cleared the first one. I just have timing issues with the second one. Okay, I can't use the diagonal. It's <laughs> just not timed very well. No, it's too hard. Okay, what is up with those dots? Well, no, you get three, you get an, an extra life. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I should I, definitely you lose keep them. getting those. Yeah, things. I think it resets Four. to where you were at. Four? Four for an extra life. Maybe it doesn't reset because it seems to go through a color cycle. Like it goes red and then green and, and then, then a, blue. Like a blue and a, a yellow or orange or something. Yeah. So is it cumulative or does it reset? That is a purple. So I'll have to look what color before you get the extra life it goes to. So maybe I should have been collecting those. Oh, oh. so it's still purple. Oh. So it doesn't reset. No. Oh, I guess not. so you should always get those gold pieces. Well, if you can. Sometimes they're very challenging to get. Yeah, may not be worth it. See, there you go. I got so an it's extra purple. Life. So it goes yellow, red. red, green, purple, extra life. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yellow, so it's red next. Yep. And then green, and then purple, and extra life. And reset. You'd think it would be after green <laughs> that you get the extra life, or on green. Well. Green's always like the go, the good color. Oh, I didn't know you could jump <laughs> off oh, That gosh. is hilarious. Call from Sorry, doing a show. Doing a show, no phone calls. I'll take phone calls in 20 minutes. <laughs> Can you silence it then? Uh, no. Well, yes. You just silenced she, it. She won't fall back. No, no, that's fine, but... You just press end. But it only does it per call. But it, but the other one's still going, is what I'm saying. So you you've silenced it. it, you haven't actually hung up on her. No, no, no. Because no, that no. would not be so nice. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think she watches the show. <laughs> or seems or is aware of the That's okay. The times that I do the show. Oh, double. Oh, Big jumps. Oh, oh. Now you're See, scared. overshooting, undershooting now. now oh you're my goodness. Scared. This is the first level. I know. What I do. I totally, I'm totally like, I've lost my nerve when it comes to this. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, anybody was watch, who was watching the last stream on Wednesday saw me digging in my cat's mouth. Oh jeez, yeah. And may and I don't know if I explained fully what happened last episode, 
boy, all of a sudden I was looking at the cat and then I shoved my hand into his <laughs> mouth and he's going, ah, why are, you attacking, why are you attacking me? And the cat yeah. was freaking out and then I ran off. Um, it's because I was petting the cat and he was like, oh, so nice. Thank you for the pets. And he had his mouth open purring. Uh, and then I looked in his mouth and there's something really weird looking in his mouth. And then I kind of looked further and then I opened his mouth and it was what well, we found out later Yeah. to be a piece of a, a broom. A broom. So like a, like a, broom. a straw broom. So a yeah, piece the, of straw stuck. Like a really hard piece. It was not like yeah. bendy or thin. Like yeah. a very solid piece stuck between two teeth across the roof of his mouth. Yeah. I doubt it was in there for very long. No. But this cat chews on a bunch of stuff. Thankfully, he's gone. He's finished his wire chewing phase, as far as I know. Yeah. Because he used to chew on really thin, spongy wires, mostly charging cables. Charging cables and headphones. And headphones, which yeah. are much worse than Ugh. charging cables. Ugh. Ugh. Well, it depends Terrible. on the headphone, but usually headphones cost more than charging cables. Anyway, I had to burrito him. And if you don't have a cat, yeah. or maybe a dog, I don't know if you have to burrito dogs, but I'm guessing you do once in a while. You wrap up the cat in a blanket, and usually it's for giving them like a pill or cutting their nails, because they don't want to do that. <laughs> and you terrible, wrap them up terrible. tight. Oh, you wrap <laughs> them up tight so that, oh, don't fall down, so that they can't move except for the limb or the mouth you want to put the pill into. Um, so I had to burrito him, except for his face. Uh, oh, it was the second level you got stuck on. Yeah, I was and just doing terrible. just dig and dig, like, like he was thrashing around his head, because he didn't want it out, obviously. He didn't know what was going on. No. He thought it was being Poor a, little a guy. mean old dad to him. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? I didn't do anything. And, oh, uh... Cats, man. So I dug it out of his mouth after chasing him around the house to burrito him. And uh, I got it out and he didn't seem any happier or sadder or anything because he's happy all the time. Yeah. He's happy to have a piece of straw in his mouth stuck in his teeth. Like so, a huge piece of straw. Yeah. So I got it out and everything was right in the world again. And I came back to do the show. <laughs> but it was during the show. So that was a bit distressing. But, silly cat silly silly cat yeah and i didn't know what it was at first how serious it was or if it was like stuck right into him or Jump! oh see it's like no it's not worth it it's not worth it at all that one's just too hard you have to do perfect timing and you have to get four of those to get an extra life so no you're gonna waste one whoa you almost kicked that ball Great ball animation, too. Like, all of the characters in this. Whoa! You can jump over them quite easily. Mm, easily. You can. You have, to, you have to do a max jump, like okay. your maximum jump, but it's it's not that hard. I like the slinkies. Mm -hmm. Multicolored. They are very cool. They are pretty much what the slinkies look like in marble madness yes yes that's what it reminds they, me of they're, they move she's exactly got the, the marbles and, uh, he oh. sorry he's, he's he's got the marbles and the um the slinkies from yep. marble madness in here yep possibly an influence it's kind of a platformer you don't jump but there's platforms oh, i would nope, no, not quite do that no you can i wouldn't Just you're going to continue to do that craziness yeah but the Madness. going underneath is like even more no i've never even got hit yet yes you did by the ball yes oh what once are you talking about once i've never been hit yet <laughs> lies <laughs> not many times <laughs> oh, i forgot my water oh, oh it's melted oh it's dripping all over the place Oh, <clears throat> overjumped. Oh, 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 oh. 
Should I check my message? Nope. Maybe she's like... Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's your turn. Around here. Just got off work. No, I'll play then. Yeah, we'll play <laughs> once more. No. Maybe it's a pocket call, actually. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. Tell her you, she pocket called you during the live stream. It's a pocket call. Nice. <laughs> Are you listening into a pocket call? I'm trying to figure out if she's still at work or not. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to tell. Sounds like some serious people. Funny. Not the most exciting skip that live one? screen. <laughs> no, yeah. sorry. <laughs> While you're checking on your messages. There's nothing happening on there. Nothing exciting on the pocket call. That was close. <laughs> Walking under the ball. No, but I guess it is. It always is. Yeah. I guess you get a couple extra lives going through the first... What are you oh, doing? I, no, right I was into it. I was trying to move back so that I could do a full jump. Oh, but wow. I didn't realize. But there's a bit of momentum. Like any slight it movement is slippy. has a little bit of momentum, which makes it a little. Pixel. So. It's a little bit more. Come, here. come see us. Come up here. No, come up here. You say said, hi. I, I don't want to come up there. I want to walk across your soundboard. Yes. Mm. No, he shouldn't. It's not. He's not hungry. He usually does that when he's. He really Hungry. wants attention. There you go. Hi. Hi. Oh, are you going to stay? Hi. How are you doing? He was sleeping upstairs. Looks a little sleepy. Are you a little sleepy? He was on the, um, the welcome mat. The welcome mat. Yeah. He's the welcome cat. Yeah, he on is. On the welcome mat. Hi. Oh, that oh. Was bad. Just, you, you always back forget. On it. I know. And then there's, you forget that it, it it drops off the screen. Yeah, and there's no assurances left or right. No. Unless there's a solid wall there. Oh, are you going to bug the other cat? Yes, you are. I'm going to bug Atari. Poor Atari. Yeah. Never left alone. <laughs> it always seems really close, but... Can you hear something? It doesn't... No. Oh, see, I did it again. Uh, you have to do a full run, oh, yeah. and, or you won't make it over. Do the exact same thing. It's always frustrating when you're playing a game and something that was easy so many times it suddenly becomes hard. Yes, yeah, some suddenly becomes really difficult for no reason whatsoever. Leave that cat alone. No, no, don't bite him. Pixel likes to bite Atari when he's bored or angry or in a good mood. <laughs> just likes biting him. Bites him on the neck. Right? And then Atari just sits there and takes it. You might even see it on... Oh, you can see it! <gasps> see the bad cats? At the oh, <laughs> funny. You can see them in the, the Atari cam. <laughs> oh, the timing. It's yeah. all about the timing I'm like, there. Uh, when do I jump? <laughs> <laughs> We have, Are they that's licking the part, each other? Yeah, it's, it seems nice right now, but it's actually not. What am I doing? I don't know what that's you're doing. Funny. Oh, what? No game reset. Oh. <laughs> I just posted. They seem to roll around there in those four inches of screen. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah. It's a happy place for them, yeah, I guess apparently. so. They like to be at our feet. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Can I jump up there? Oh, I can. That's easy. Mm-hmm. Fine, I'll accept my one life that I've lost. Or two. Why am I... Did I die twice? It's terrible. I'm 
you can kind of do a backwards jump mm. like that mm. you don't have to be facing the direction that you jump you can you do have momentum in air yeah you can change I mean. midair yeah you have that's why when you're jumping across those ledges you can do that like right. you can you can adjust yourself midair which is always nice. Only mm -hmm. super old school games don't allow you to do that. Which is really annoying. Oh my god. Going back to those games. I'm trying to think if we played a game not that long ago. Where that was, was making me crazy because the moment you start your jump, you can't control. I think it was Panky. Was it Panky? No, but I didn't play Panky. You played Panky. You played it a bit, I'm right? No, no. no. Is that the one you made me um, Map write out? maps? Yeah. Yep. No, you didn't let me play that game at all. <laughs> didn't let you play it no you played the whole game <laughs> you didn't let me play it at all i just sit, sat there and, and wrote maps oh, for you <laughs> well you did a great, great job well thank you <laughs> um no it wasn't panky it was another game that i played okay. very recently that was like that like a more modern game possibly a modern game yeah well, that's highly doubtful are you talking about an atari modern game no 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 or like no. a ps4 modern game? or like a um nintendo ds or... oh well that's possible okay here's the part where we no. both die nope you did it once you jumped over one and of now them now i'm second guessing it yeah get it get it get it, get it, get it, get it. Seems to be the only really hard part of this game is that. Ah! ah. Yay! Extra life. Yay! More lives to sacrifice to the roly poly gods. I want to just jump right up there. No. <laughs> now, when am I dying? Is you it? You want to jump it's when back? it jumps. You want to jump when it jumps. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, close. When it's going down. Yeah. Not when it's going up. Because you kind of hit the same spot. Mm. You jump higher than it, so if you jump with it, you will jump over it. Mm. What are you doing? You don't jump higher than it because otherwise you would always avoid it, no matter where it was in its spot. Mm. And then you wouldn't have to time it at all. You just jump. Like, if you jump at the same time it jumps. Like, just practice jumping when it jumps. You'll jump higher than Right. It. Yeah. Yay! Woo, One more life woot. to sacrifice. Hey, fluffies. What are they doing? Nothing. <gasps> you bugging them for oh, no reason I at all? I like bugging the Atari. Uh, oh, he's buggable. Hi. He's malleable. He's malleable. He likes to be on screen. He wants to see what's happening with Blinky. <laughs> Do you see Blinky over there? Do you see the yellow Blinky? Mm. No. He's he somehow instinctually knows. Yeah. You know it's not a bug, eh? No, you can't. Oh, I didn't run it fast enough. I didn't lead. <gasps> oh, he wants he wants away. He wants to go away. I'm gonna go away. Going after Blinky. No. Go get it. Go get it. Luckily, neither of these cats attack things on screens. Our cat, the cat we had before, Pixel, Yeah. Um, there was a series of uh, ads that TELUS, um, telecommunications company up in Canada, uh, they had a set of ads which were essentially animals on a completely white background. And there was one with a hummingbird. And whenever it came on the TV... We would have to run interference because the cat, no matter where it was in the room, would run and dive bomb the screen. Yes. And so you would you would be like, oh, tell the ads on, and then you'd have to <laughs> like jump in front of the screen as she have, she would dive for you'd it. You'd have to change the channel, which is not super 
easy, easy to, to do, do quickly. Because muting it wouldn't help. No. <laughs> she didn't care about the, the sound. No, of... it was just the, the, the wings and the look of it. And boom, cat, she would, she would dive bomb it. Like kamikaze just... straight into the screen and you'd have to just run in front of her. Because it was so high contrast and easy for her to yeah. see on the screen. It was, cr it was crazy. <laughs> I wonder how many uh, cat owners lost uh, their LCD screens back yeah. in those days. <laughs> if your television was precariously placed on a stand. Yeah. Oh, it would go over. But she's she'd hit it. Oh yeah, just smack, smack the screen. Smack into it with her head. She thought it was a bird <laughs> or oh. something. Well, it looked it looked like a bird, and it had that movement, and that's all they look for is that yeah. movement, right? Because it was a, the appropriate size. Yes. Yeah for the size of screen yeah oh it was crazy so it really did look like a bird yeah well which it was it just wasn't 3d but that didn't matter no no <laughs> yeah it was pretty crazy doing pretty good no lives lost because it's not hard till this part yeah well i've you practiced get here. enough which is good that yep. everything else is now easy, except for that dot Boom. that I'm not going to get. Jump. Jump. No, no, no. Jump. No. Jump. Jump. No. See, I told you, you got to listen to me. <laughs> Jump when? Okay. When you get there, which you will. Well, my cat was mesmerized by oh, BBC Planet Earth. Yeah. Oh, I bet. She sat and watched The Force for 15 minutes, only that Forced. one time watching TV. I, we may oh. have to pull that out. I think we have BBC Earth somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, they we had they it do on they... HD DVD. HD DVD. HD DVD. Yeah. So much for that. We just tossed them. Yeah. Recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you had a you actually had a Blu-ray HD DVD player for the computer for quite a while. I still do. Okay. So. What? Okay. When they go up, that might no. No. You need to practice that. Okay. You can clear them, but you have to get the height, and you have there to hit go. your hit the hit the upper part of your height. Just as they're going down. No, no walking. Why are you walking? I need that. No, you distance. don't. I don't I think do. you do. I do. I think no, I do. I don't think you do. Ooh. Oh. But you got an extra life in that process, so that's not so bad. I did? There yes. was a dot? There, you got the dot, and the dot oh. gave you an extra life, so. Oh, good. I think. I wasn't even paying attention to the dot. No, maybe not. Maybe not. But you did get a dot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, because you have to get, get to purple, right? And then, you, and then you get the extra life, and it goes back to yeah. yellow. There, I'm on purple again. Yeah. But, uh, oh, there's a dot there. Yeah. Okay, I, I won't take a running jump at it. Oh, that was wrong timing. Maybe you do need a running jump. <laughs> Maybe I'm lying. You're making me second guess myself <laughs> now. But the faster you run the more momentum you have when you're landing, That's too. True. But I didn't think I was even going to make it, so I wasn't even prepared to stop. Oh. Where did I hit it? Was it on the... Was it coming up or was it going down? When you, when you did it right? No, when I, what just happened. Mm. It's going Is up. it hitting me on its its way up? I think so. I then, think. I'm, then I'm jumping too late. It's not the jumping. You have to hit your apex of the jump. When it's at the bottom. No, but above it. Like, you can do it. But you have to... So maybe you do need to run a little bit. It, it doesn't matter. You can clear those guys. So maybe I do need to run. Yeah. It gives me extra, yeah, extra so, time. But you have to hit the apex above it. Like you can't, you can't go too far t to the right too quickly. Mm. Me again. 
Uh, How are you feeling about it? Are you super gonna, frustrated about are you gonna, it? Are you, gonna, are you gonna do it again? Yes. Okay. But I'm super frustrated because I did it once and now I can't even do it again. Uh. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Lost a you life just... for no good reason? Yes. <laughs> Oh, there's lots of people watching. They're just quiet. <laughs> Hi, everybody watching. Hello. It's like nobody's typing, but there's a lot of people watching, yeah. which is fine. Blinky's you know. a good game. Yeah, it's 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 mesmerizing. It's not not like actiony. I think that's what happened when we played Pan Panky the Panda. Like nobody was talking. They're all just watching. You know. Yeah. Some games are like that. They just people just keep it in the background. It's not a lot of music happening. It's no big explosions on the screen and the your character reminds me uh, the character reminds me of um, a guy from mule and he's the robot um, that you can pick in mule that you always get a bonus amount of money when you start the game mm -hmm. and everybody picks that guy because it's the best advantage to get uh, I see so kind of silly that it's not as balanced but anyway, Mule's a really good game if you haven't played it. Um, it's a four player kind of city building oh. game. Do you where, like games like that? But you can all cooperate or be against each other. Oh, okay. So you can cooperate in because you, you grow either food, you mine for resources, you can put up satellite, uh, not satellite, um, solar arrays to get energy um what else? Oh, not jumping mm. high enough or oh, and i think there's one more thing you can do i can't remember what it is but and then you sell them on you either sell them to the store or each other because you need these what is happening because <laughs> you need each of these things Except for the uh, ore you dig up, you don't need, or do, yeah, you do need that to make new, to outfit new mules. And mules are the things you have to outfit to put the resources onto the land. And if you're by the river, you can grow more food. If you're out in the desert, you get more solar energy. If you're in the mountains, you can mine better. And then there's also hunting the wumpus, which you look for a little dot in the mountains and you go get it. Do you jump higher? You do. But you have to be at, like you said, at the apex. So close. It is. It's frustrating. And it he seems to hit it. Every time I've jumped and you've jumped, the ball's always at the top when you're, we're, we're jumping. Well, How can we possibly do that every time? Oh, God. <laughs> so much for that. You okay? Mm -hmm. I hear a cat coming down the stairs. One of the cats is very thumpy. <laughs> One of the cats is like a ballerina. And very light on mm -hmm. his feet. And I know the thumpy one, and there he is. Hi, Atari. Thumpy cat. When we got him, he was overweight. Yeah. And he couldn't jump. And he's a little chubby now, but he was very pudgy. overweight. He's yeah. a pudgy cat. He was very pudgy. So we had to and, put him on um, a diet. And now he's fine, but he really couldn't jump. No, and couldn't land, more yeah. importantly. Yeah, he was really having trouble. And um, yeah, he's he pretty good now. Trouble with his legs. But then we put him on a diet and helped him out. Now he's a happy cat and he can jump. Not as high as, as Pixel. Pixel. Pixel can get up really crazy places. Yeah. Which gives him a, you know, solace when he wants it. Well, he it's can pretty get away. funny because um, he's quite um, proud of himself. And when he, he gets will, up high. yeah. So we have a we have a very high book bookshelf, like almost as as high as this upper anyway. bookshelves here. Yeah, I guess you can. <laughs> um, 
uh, we have like almost up to our ceiling. Yeah. And he can pretty much jump from like the edge of the couch to the, uh, the upper part of the bookshelf. Um, but of course, poor Atari can't. So he will, the, you know, when, when they're both in a mood and they're fighting, he will actually jump up to the um, higher bookshelf and just stare down at Atari kind of gloating like if yeah. there is a way <laughs> for, for a small for a cat to gloat <laughs> this this cat gloats like it, yes. it gloats at atari which is it's just incredibly funny to see he just gets up there and goes and mm. just sits and looks and at stares him. yeah goes yeah i can get up here and you can't so it's very very funny they're two very funny cats yep where's your brother is he in the hall Oh my god! What? You're okay. Why are you distressing Atari? He's just he just thinks I'm going upstairs to feed him. <laughs> He's been fed. Yeah. He doesn't need any more food. He likes his food. <laughs> he will eat all the food. And um, we used to free feed well, that was the problem. A, t a pixel. Yeah. When we first got him. And Pixel's like, meh, food, whatever. And then Atari came along and went, yeah, I'll eat all the food. Yeah. <laughs> all of it. And then he got fat. Poor dog. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to distract from the frustration of that one point with the, the bubbles bump, uh, bouncing up and down. Yeah. What level is this? Is this four? Three. Yeah. That's it. I think it's three. It's torturous. Does it get harder from here? Some Probably. games are like, no, this is the hard part in the whole game. And the rest is like, it's it's difficult, but not. Well, that balloon game? What was it called again? Balloon? Not balloon, balloon fight. Trip? Balloon yeah. trip. Yeah, there was one. Yeah, I part. mean, there, there were a couple of levels in there that were really hard. No, I was too far away. Yeah. You do need a running jump. It is arch. The arch of his jump. The arc of his jump is too shallow when you don't have a bit of a run. Like, let's practice it here. See that? That's a standing jump, and it's barely making it far enough. That's me holding it. Now, if I do a little bit of a run... Yeah, you Look how much bigger it is. So I'm going to go back. So maybe you can run across two and jump. Can uh, you do that? Or no? Um, you... So I just have keep run. going. Jump, jump. I don't know. Uh -huh. That would be a lot of timing. Yeah. Like start on this one? Yeah, and run. Can you run across? Or I did that do that fun? once. So maybe that's the secret, but I can't do that the second time. No. Yes, you can. I oh. fell. Yeah. Okay, so you kind can. Kind of, but it slows you down. Yeah, that was the issue. So maybe you have to run across one brick and then jump. If you jump when it's at, at its apogee, yeah. then it will be going down when you jump over it. That's what I just tried to do. I yeah, think you have don't to jump you just quite did that, though. after it goes yeah. down because it hangs there for yeah. a second. It hangs for a moment. That was close. But yes, there's definitely a lot of Marble Madness references in this game. Seemingly. Yeah, I think well, so. Those guys, for sure. Oh yeah, well, and the the marble. Uh, marbles don't bounce in Marble Yeah, madness, but it has but... the look of the marble, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. With the little, little shine on the edge. True. different because you're not jumping can anyone s yes mr fix Hi, mr. hello fix. mr fix <laughs> sorry i'm late i'm sorry i'm late i am sorry i am late i am sorry i am late i feel like a kid late for class you're late you're getting two marks deducted off your final score please don't let it happen again mr fix <laughs> no it's totally extra fine. extra homework for mr fix yes extra homework with no bonus marks. <laughs> Just extra homework. Uh, 
Is he behind the couch he, again? He, no, he's under your under your feet. Wow. Come here. No, that's not happening. No, he, he doesn't <laughs> want that. He's like, you're gonna do Come something here. to me. Come here and be cuddly. Job. Okay, I got it. Ah. Should I get it? Yeah. I'll get a free life right away. Is it purple? Yeah. Yay, it was worth it. <laughs> Mr. Fix has nice work. Thank you. You made it just in time. Uh, yeah. We've been working on that particular spot on those two balls. Forever. For you know, at least half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Be on camera. Be on camera. I know you hate it. I know you hate oh, it. Still oh. not done. Come here. Yeah. Be a cute kitty. You okay? You watch your aunt? Hmm? Oh, you poor thing. Poor thing. Poor What's wrong thing. with them? Yay! <gasps> Yay! Level four. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Oh, just you ruined just lost it. it. Yeah. Well, I had. Well, you. You'd you have can't to walk across. You'd have to walk across. Uh, that sounds terrible. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you would have to walk across. Okay, this is a, gonna be a big. Jump. Good luck. You might have to I, run at least across I have two it. Lives. Do you think? Um, last time I did that, it went and kind of slowed down. Yeah. But I only have one life to try. Well, two lives, but I. Well, they said you can run off the edge and jump too, but I don't know. Yeah, I haven't practiced that. No, we I haven't tried that I need to practice that, that in a safe spot. There's no safe spot because once you jump up, you lose your floor. That's all of the true. Time. Okay. Anyway. Wow, beat my high level. <laughs> yeah. Woo! That's our main goal. I just posted, I did you get caught at those bouncing balls too? Because <laughs> that took a that long time. <laughs> was not easy. Oh, Oh, oh you have to fall in the holes. That's not too bad. Yeah. That's not too bad. <gasps> whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That was dangerous. That was a good thing. Because <laughs> it got me past the hard part, which is the middle. Oh, oh what are you doing? Damn it. Oh, don't jump. Oh, it's too late. It's okay. That's too dangerous. You just, just yeah. walk, jump walk, down walk. and bounce. Jump down and bounce, I guess. Mm, I don't know. I'll try it next time. Yeah. Next game, I mean, because I only have one life left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh. oh, Blinky goes up. No, I'm good. You want to play again? Yeah, I think I can do those. Yeah, you have to get back there, though. It's always the annoying Meh. part. Oh, that's easy. Getting back to that. Well, the, having to do those two balls again? So this is level one. Oh, I think I can do the balls now. Yeah. Because I know feel where like I need to be. Yeah. And I think I've got the timing. Is this level two? Yeah, I think it was level three that was the, the two balls. Yeah, there's really no safe spot to practice that drop and no, jump. No, because once you jump, you lose you, you lose the bottom Any, level. Yeah, you lose anything that's below you. Yeah. That's way too annoying. Kind of sounds like a movie because there's people shouting, but not like. 
I don't normal know. shouting? There, there, there definitely. Oh, oh no! What? There definitely were people congregating, but it looked like there was a screen. So yeah. we'll see. Can you hear them talking? That was a terrible, terrible death. Have to be back here to get the big arc. Yeah. And it's just yeah. as it's going up, start running. I mean, just before it hits the apex. Good. No problem. Just before it hits the apex. Yep. On its way up. Yeah, it's a movie. I can hear music now. I don't know what they're watching. Should be in the local guides. Oh, oh and you have to do it all over again. But that's okay. It gives me good practice on these terrible dual bouncy balls. Do you think you could do them now that you've seen? Maybe. I probably have to practice it a couple of times. Yeah. But now you know the method, at least. Yes. Can you hear movie yelling? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what movie it is. Oh, good luck on that. Sometimes. Yeah, if it's really, like, obvious. It'll have to be family-friendly, kind of. Yeah, but, I mean, there's lots of good family-friendly films. I mean... Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, I know that music. I don't. I said why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's Still called. Still haven't figured out what the movie is, though. No good. It sucks that you start back at the beginning. There's not a halfway flag or something. Yeah. I that mean, the levels nice. aren't super long. Oh, they're pretty long, though. When you're close to the top like that. Yeah. Frustrating. I love, love games like this. I love them so much. This is my favorite type of game. And shooters. <laughs> oh, that was no. wrong timing. I wasn't paying attention. I'm better at these than shooters. Platformers? Platformers, yeah. Because there's a certain amount of randomness to, sh to shooters, Sp like space shooters. Yeah. This is like, no, it's the oh, same. No, it's, it's the, the same, same every, every time. single time, yeah. So once you get it, or you get a technique of jumping, you're fine. Scrambling upstairs. They've stopped now, but they were. <laughs> you looking up the movie? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> it is. The frustration me meter is rising. It is. Yes. It's, it's right up there. Yeah. Because now I'm not even making it. Oh, I made it over the ball, but then I didn't stop. 
Okay. Oh. No. It's done. Done? It's done. Are you done, done, done? Done. <laughs> yep. I'm done, done, okay. done. Unless you want one more. No, I think I'm good. I feel like I need to practice this game <laughs> like the other ones. Oh, this is practice. But it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> no, it is practice, but it was um, a lot of fun. It is. All that three was... games were really great. Yes. Um, the first I... one was too hard. No, but I kind of... Omicron. I like the fact that it's hard. It's the kind of game you would you would put a bit of time into before you, uh, you know, to get get used to the, the mechanics and the movement. It was yeah, pretty fun. It was I mean, pretty fun. Once you got the hang of the first level, it was it was still challenging, the Omicron one. Yeah. And the second one was hard. <laughs> and then then I guess you just have to build up yeah. your knowledge of each level and how to play it properly. Um in the KO boxing, it's not my type of game. Mm. Um it was very challenging. Um, I guess once you've memorized how to play it well, but it's as still you say, it's still not fun you would keep notes and like okay you have to do the like yeah like this what is the, how you uh, can punch it yeah and this yeah. is how you punch this guy. and i didn't want to play it because the mechanics of it are very different than other games yeah. like as far as the punching and i just felt like no i need to practice like i don't want to i don't want to just die and die and die and die like it was yeah it was, it's, a, it's a hard game to play but i can it see is. how once you've memorized the movements it then you get fine. used to the timing of it yeah but even when I've memorized the first and second guy, it wasn't fun. It's not the type of game that I find fun. You enjoy? Fun. Yeah, I like get that. simple pattern. Yeah. Like, okay, press up, left, 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 and then that's it. Yeah. That is why I don't also don't like fighter. Uh, what are they called? Pardon me. Fighting games. Yeah. When you fight two two people yeah, fighting. Yeah, you're just you're just memorizing the button. It's like, that's how you block this attack. Yeah. And this is how you attack at this distance. And you're it's just memorizing. Full memorization. Yeah. What are those games called? <laughs> I can't remember. Like Street Fighter 2. What is that? Uh, anyway, we'll call them fighting games. One, one player versus player fighting games. Yeah. Um, the the, the two-dimensional, even three-dimensional yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so it's just not my game. I thought it would, I thought it would be different. A little bit more... Um, more actiony and less pattern but it's, it's exactly like the arcade like, like the punch and games. the and the yeah. nes yeah cool. this game yes this is <laughs> this is the game this yeah. is the exact game it's i love a good game. we will be revisiting this okay or at least i will at some point yeah on a wednesday be yeah. revisiting this game okay in the future um because i like it i yeah, like it i got I like it i game. have to finish i like this omicron game. too I, did I just too, I just want to sit with it by myself for a few hours and and get used to the the patterns and, and the movement. But I like I I, I do Moving kind of like games part of that. that have that element of um, randomness to them. That, yes. You know where it's like you can have a really good run and then you can you can die in like the first few seconds and it's just yes. just a, there's a little bit of luck playing into it. A little bit of luck, a little bit of strat and a. A little bit of luck and a lot of strategy. strategy. Yeah. So you can play Things well, but like it can also mess you up. Yeah. With that randomness sometimes, and that's fine because otherwise, the game's boring. You're mm -hmm. just doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Which sure. you know is kind of like this. You are doing the exact same thing over and over again. Mm. But each thing is a different challenge. There's many challenges every two seconds in this game. Mm. And then you have a full game of all these mini challenges that you have to remember and and make it through. So good on you, Jan Hermans. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. really good job. Yeah. And I think all three games were really good, though. Well done. Yeah, the, I think they were all really good. The and graphics, the punch out, the movement. Yeah, was beautiful looking. I think the oh, characters yeah. looked really good. And um, the title screen, the rings. I can see they're very three very different styles of game, That's and I can see it appealing different people having different games appeal to them. Yeah. And I always yeah. try and pick three very different games each mm. time because if you play three space shooters in a row, it's like, eh, okay, boring. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to try and have three different ones, yeah. Um, and they are very different ones shooter. 
puzzle fighting game. I don't know it's a what you game. would call it. Fighting pattern memorization. It's a punch out game is what yeah, it is. It They're is. all There's the no, same. It's nothing really like that. <laughs> yeah. And a plat pure platform. Yeah. Oh no, I'm catching the very end of the show. Yes, you are, Jerry Gray West. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for joining us two Thank and a half hours in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 924. It's late. But we do yeah. play at random times. I don't think we've ever started later than seven. I don't think so. We didn't play Although, till midnight, did you not maybe. live stream live stream at like twelve thirty one night? Oh, that was an off. That was a random one that was not scheduled. Yeah, but but <laughs> I I was going to bed and then I looked like, in and uh, I'm like, why are the bright lights on? Yeah. And then and then he goes, oh hi, I'm live streaming, and I just went, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for it sticking happens. around the whole time, yeah. Beefy Morris. Yes, thank wow. you so much. Mr. Beefy Morris. Mr. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. And uh, yeah. thank you to Jared Gray West for jumping in at the very last second. Yes. It's okay. You can catch it on YouTube yeah. afterwards the yeah. next day. Mm -hmm. And if you like it enough and you have oh, Amazon you Prime, so you can click yeah, subscribe. Sorry. Yes. Um, for free. <laughs> You don't have to give me any money and Amazon will give itself money and give it, <laughs> give the money to me Yes. to buy more games to play. Yay, games. It's only a tiny bit of money, but you yeah. don't have to. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not doing this to make money or else I'd be playing Fortnite. <laughs> something point. like that. Good point. And you'd be <laughs> course, 12. Yeah. And I'd be 12 uh, yeah. <laughs> and I would definitely be far from the best player. Nah. So I'd rather play for a, a amazing community that games that don't get shown anywhere yeah. um and do a exclusively homebrew yeah atari 2600 it's just very there is cool. no such game such show anywhere else on the internet <laughs> it's so true i love doing that well and it's nice to have um like it's nice that, that these games still exist like people are still making games for these systems it's oh, just it really really cool that it's fun and and they're good games because made by the community for even though the community, there are limitations on how how what can go into them in a sense yeah um, it's all about gameplay the actual gameplay and what people have learned about gameplay hey. and what makes a game good this cat is going insane <laughs> cat's um, going crazy uh, but what people have learned so much about gameplay that, yes. that you can infuse that into into the older systems yeah, now so brought back the cool. gameplay from newer games into older systems and made it yeah. less like the brutal onslaught that were arcade games back in the day yeah where they've made games more like Blinky Goes Up, where it's it's not as brutal. Like mm. these did, these games didn't even exist. Platformers were not really even around mm. in the early '80s. They were like proto platformers, where you would have platforms and jump around, but they didn't really exist till like Mario Brothers really brought that in. That's true. That was kind of the first major mainstream platformer. Yeah. I'm glad I found this on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, you found us through Facebook. <laughs> yes, we do have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I try to announce, at least on Facebook, all the upcoming shows and on Instagram. But Facebook's the best place. And, of course, subscribing to or following Twitch. It'll announce there as well. Mm. But it's usually Wednesdays and Fridays. And I'll be here next Wednesday. And actually, we might be doing Wednesday, Thursday next week. Um, because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm filming a movie, right? That's next week. Yeah. Yep. So, and a friend is over Thursday mm -hmm. and I wanted to get him on the show. Okay. So it'll be th Wednesday, Thursday next week. Cats are going nuts. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic, but they're just running around and probably not tearing up the floor, but that's okay. so Wednesday at 7 p no it'll be earlier just disregard the times but <laughs> you'll have to check online because i don't know the times yet it'll be a little bit earlier in the day on wednesday maybe it's five and thursday it'll be probably just you know earlier in the day three two three four o'clock something like that so just check well cats are nocturnal creatures it is that exact time of night wow this guy's crazy right he now he is going nuts he's gonna claw my face off any moment Oh. oh, look at you. <laughs> oh. Look at you. There's his pixel right there. Yeah, there's the pixel. The black dot pixel. <laughs> in, in case you wanted to know why he was called pixel, he has a black unattached dot. 
He's a, in the a, he has a middle of his belly. Yes, I agree. He's a very handsome cat. Oh, he's mm -hmm. very handsome. He gets all yeah. the likes on Instagram. Yes, he does. <laughs> Don't you? Yes. Oh, are you going to bite me? No. It's being very nice. Uh, no, I'm holding him. I'm oh. squishing him pretty hard. <laughs> oh, squish that cat. Squish it. Squish the cat. <laughs> anyway, we're done here. Yes. <laughs> we're regressing into cat petting, yeah, it, petting it, cats. Yeah, that's when things start going down. Although downhill. they do get the views on the internet, I've yeah. heard. <laughs> these cats yeah um, so thanks for tuning in yeah and uh we will see you on wednesday or you can watch all the old stuff mr yes. fix on youtube all the back episodes are all there so um thanks a lot and see you next wednesday bye 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 pixel says goodbye oh <laughs> <laughs> he looks tortured he looks tortured okay i'll let you go bye bye bye